John Liverpool. Uh, Brighton is a tricky enough place to go. Um, they got their 1 0. Uh, Mo Salah taken down in the box again, no question about whether it was a penalty. It was a clear penalty. Uh, another clean sheet for Liverpool. Yeah. Uh, it took Brighton, I watched quite a lot of the match. It was on Sky Ireland. It took Brighton, I think, until about 12 minutes from the end to have a real strike on goals. He played Fabinho uh, alongside Van Dijk uh, and it worked. Uh, Fabinho did okay as a centre-half, certainly more uh, reassuring uh, than Lovren. Well, I think I think anybody that goes in their aim is going to be better than, going to be better than Lovren. Yeah. And obviously, as a midfield player coming back into that position, uh, you know, if he can play at all, it's going to be easier for him. So it was a good move to put him in there. Uh, when I saw him play, playing in midfield, I, cu- I couldn't imagine him playing at the back. Now I didn't see the game, but yeah. uh, uh, he played you know, well, John. Made love, yeah, yeah exactly, he made tackles, know. made blocks. Yeah. Uh, he's well, okay. Keep him there, Eamon. <laughs> well, I think they should because he's he's, yeah. he's useful yeah. in the air. Uh, yeah. He sees the pass, uh, and it worked out okay. Of course, it was only Brighton, but Chris Hewton's done a really good good job there, John. I yeah, mean, he doesn't have any money to spend. He's basically got, in Premier League terms, journeyman. Uh, Shane Duffy was very good. Again, is very good. Um, but they, they don't lose many games at home, uh, and they were restricted um, in ah, a big yeah. way. So yeah, Liverpool... They are what they are, I mean, you know. Yeah, you know, Liverpool they, have... This this clean sheet is so important, isn't it, John? Oh yeah, yeah. You don't you don't win trophies, I mean, Yeah. Without having a good defence, you just don't do it. You know. I mean, if you look at all the teams over the years uh, that win the, if you look at the stats on the teams that win the Premiership, uh, you know, goals against are always they're usually usually yes. the lowest goals against yeah. in in the, in the in the league. You can't yeah. afford to give goals away. Uh, and that's what Liverpool did. And like the, last year, you see when Klopp was talking, I and mean, when they were losing goals, he kept he kept saying, "Well, look at the chances we've missed." He, he wasn't concentrating at that. But you know, because you're, you're you're on the top and you don't take your chances, like like on Saturday, they only needed one to win. Yeah. You know, you get three points. That's, yep. that's the main thing. And yep. if if you if you, like in the last couple of years when when he was losing goals, I mean, you know, they were winning two nil, winning three nil, and they're filling up finishing up drawing the game and only getting one point from yeah, it that's yeah. stopped yeah. and that's the way you win things there's yeah. no doubt about that look at the teams over the years Manchester United at their best yep. Arsenal when they were at their best were on Ray yep. and that with Tony Adams give nothing away I mean. yeah. you know because you, you, in that situation you can play not so well on the day but yeah. still you get that result exactly like, and I didn't see the game on Saturday but against Brighton who were a good they're honest team but you still have to beat them. Yeah. But they only got one goal from penalty, but that's all they needed. They got the three points. Off the gods, Liverpool with three points in the bag. That's the main thing. Yeah, and they've just... And that's what they're doing now, which yeah. is great for them. In 22 games they've played, they've conceded 10 goals, less than one yeah. a game. Uh, City, interesting, Manchester City are playing tonight. Um, they've conceded 17 goals this year, which is actually, uh, considering how dominant they've been in games, and they have a game against Wolves tonight, which I'll talk to you about. 